Hi guys. So I'm going to be making a video on what I'm going to allow Jesus to say what he thinks about these people that are getting blessings before they go in and slaughter people in Ukraine by the Orthodox Russian Orthodox Church supposedly god-fearing i'm it just really it's like okay you're god-fearing well let's see what jesus thinks about that you know the one that you purport to serve <clears throat> so i'm going to use some of this energy shield palo santo and white sage smudge spray there you go it's wonderful and I'm going to start out with the minimalist oracle deck and see what we get. Okay, so I want to ask the Most High to answer about what does Christ Jesus think about these generals and other people who um, do horrible things, hurt other people in the name of God, or so they say with his blessing by the likes of the Russian Orthodox Church in Russia. What does he think about all of that? It's too bad that we can't just understand that he wouldn't, most of us do, I mean, that he would not approve. But I want, I want to allow Christ the, the, the floor, so to speak, here to say what he thinks about all of that. <clears throat> and forgive me, I did just take my antihistamines. It's a rough day at the coast. A lot of people here are having very bad allergies. <clears throat> I hope you're having a good day no matter where you are. All right. So, JC, I want to know exactly what you think. Help me to read accurately and clearly and relate accurately and clearly. What you wish to convey to people that think that there is some kind of blessing that you would give for doing such horrible things. <clears throat> what do we need to know? We really need you at, at this time. So we want to understand better. And we're just going to allow God to guide these symbols. And I'll just be what I am, interpreter, messenger. <laughs> what do you think about this, God? What do you want to say to them? <clears throat> okay, I'm going to lay this out in a general, you know, Celtic cross fashion. But I'm going to read that in a very intuitive way. North Star. Now, that's guidance. And in this minimalist oracle deck, I will give you the um, insight of North Star. I am trusting the plan for my life. Keywords, guidance, 
direction, the bigger picture, soul path. Okay. <clears throat> so that's what he's bringing up. Pardon me while I get a sip of water. <clears throat> and a histamine dry out your mouth. So this is about guidance and about your soul path he's wanting to bring up. Okay. The issue of guidance. And if there are they, if they were really being led by God, would they be doing this? Mm. But we'll see what God wants to say. And here is the mystery. This is what is in a position of um, difficulty or challenge. And mystery crosses that. And I'm just going to show you, this is how I read at home. And then I kind of, I break it apart initially, bit by bit, especially because I'm not as familiar with using this deck. But it's just like, the way I like to go about it. I'm kind of meticulous in my own little way. So, and then I come back and, and go to it again. So mystery. And this is again, the place of a challenge. And it is, I am open to unexpected and unforeseen forces, keywords, the unseen, shadows, surrender, miracles. So they're not surrendering to truly God's guidance is the bam message I get right there. Because the North Star is when you truly listen to God, if you will, or if you are a Christian, Jesus Christ. Um, and, and you're, you know, you're attuned. You're supposed to be attuned. Well, This surrender to the mystery, this surrender is saying they're not listening to me. They're not listening. Because again, mystery, I am open, meaning you are open to, to God's guidance. And he's saying they're not open to me. They think they are, but they are not, they are not following me. That's the message I'm getting right there. And this is how I read. All right. So that's the first bread and butter that he wants to get across. They are not, if they think they're listening to me, they're not. There's a challenge for them in, in surrendering their will and li truly listening to me. They've crowded out my voice is what I get. Inner work is the basis of this. Inner work. That's spiritual work. And it's doing, it's dealing with your fears, dealing with your shadow aspects, as well as the joyous aspects, but particularly the inner work of what is an obstacle to you being more aligned spiritually. So that's what God is saying that this is based upon, or Jesus, because we are going in a, the Christian vein of faith here. Just as I say faith, I pull the card of faith that is what is crowning this reading. This is what God is, JC, is crowning the reading with is true faith. And look, it's a triune. So that's the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Holy smokes, <laughs> literally. Um, and, you know, faith, I'm going to give you what the faith one is, because these little bites are powerful. I am cultivating a deep relationship with what I feel is true inside. 
what I feel is true inside, a deep relationship. It's me, it means you honor what you instinctively know, intuitively know, heartfully know, because it's aligned with, with, with Jesus. It's aligned with the Christ. So the key words are strength, intuition, depth, and power. This is what they need to do. They have no, God's telling me their compass is, is really screwed up. And, and we know that because they claim to base their compass on JC and they're not doing that. According to JC. So we're seeing that he's talking about they need to develop a deeper relationship with him because they are not hearing him. And that is going to be based on them doing inner work, that the work that they've avoided doing. They're listening, I'm getting, to the voice of ego. And when it comes from particularly like an authority or a supposed authority, like the Russian Orthodox Church, um, blessing these things. Jesus is quite clear here that that's not him. Um, he's not down with this. And he feels like he's not being heard or followed. And if they want to follow him in truth, they're going to have to do inner work they're going to have to step aside out of this ego and they're going to have to really be true to their faith. And true to the faith is de developing and cultivating a deep relationship with what I feel is true inside strength, intuition, depth, and power because they've, they've, they are not connected to him is what he's saying. Their faith, their, whatever their belief, it's not in him. He doesn't support this. <clears throat> Spiral. That's a recent past here. I'll give you what it says there. In my interpretation. As a messenger. Spiral. I am learning something new, even when visiting familiar territory. Keywords, new perspectives, cycles, revisiting. He's saying this has happened before. This has gone on before. This is part of a, a, a you know, just Second World War, you know, and this is a repeat. And <clears throat> we need to learn from history. They're not listening. And they, it's the same thing over again is what Christ is saying. They're still not listening. And they are not aligned to me. In the near future, he gives them the current consciousness card. <clears throat> and it's interesting now we always want to look at this because this is the bridging card this is the the challenge that's going to bridge where they've learning from the past to where they're going and we get the card of current consciousness let's see what this deck says about that <clears throat> i am honoring where i am at in my awareness evolution Unique viewpoints, the collective. Okay. So it is honoring where you are at in your evolution and, and having a unique point of view, the collective, current consciousness. So this current consciousness needs to shift 
It's still not in alignment with him, he's saying. They do not embrace nor surrender to him. They surrender their, through their fear to an egotistical human being, authoritarian, and they are in alignment with Vladimir Putin, not Jesus Christ. Fortis. He's really, um, I'm getting a sense that he's like, it's slow. Y'all are slow. But let's see what he wants to say. <clears throat> Again, I'm just a messenger. Don't shoot me. Okay. Portis. Oops, one page back. I am evolving at my own pace. <clears throat> Keywords, deliberate action, endurance, persistence. So with the tortoise, again, we kind of, it marries up a lot with this current consciousness about acknowledging where you are would be a start. And begin evolving from there but taking a deliberate a deliberate effort to actually follow rather than just say you are and you're not even listening so that's he's saying the current consciousness is still very affected by the past it's not really evolved it's been very slow <clears throat> and It's willfully doing the opposite. Here we have simplicity in the environment. Let's see what Christ wants to say with that. I give thanks also to Christ sharing this information. I am seeing the purest essence of everything around me. Wow. Okay. That's like, do you even see what? is going on in the environment. Do they, you, you know, how can they say that? Um, purity, integrity, clarity, honesty, discernment. The environment has everyone has discernment except for them. They're deluded. It's, he's saying they're not listening to him. They're still very much locked in a past um, pattern. They have not surrendered to love to his message and are not in truth following him because they haven't done their they need to do their inner work and acknowledge him and their current consciousness is not it has not done that it's not embraced that challenge of christ's mystery and in the environment there is more discernment around them other people are more have more discernment than than them they have delusion. It's clear enough to other people. It's simple. It's, but they want to follow some sort of nonsense. Mm. Resistance. This is in the hopes and fears. I am aware of when to push forward and when to retreat. Keywords, friction, force, stagnation, stubbornness, spark. He's just saying they're stubborn as well. Here with the tortoise resistance, the past spiral, he's like, I'm waiting, you know, any day now, seriously. He's, it's not, I, I sense irritation, more than irritation, okay. But he's saying in addressing that if they think they're following me, they are not. I do not know them. They resist me. They, you know, 
there's mm, they fear Vladimir Putin, but what they should fear in truth is for their own being taking part in these things. And Vladimir Putin is not the author of the universe. And so when he's gone, these people need to realize they are going to be left with the filth of their dirty work on their own souls because they served, frankly, the devil. They are serving the devil. They are not serving Jesus. And I, it's, it's as simple as a square. It's as simple and clear to the rest of us, you know, around the world. But they have to try to think in some convoluted way that the Ukraine is making up all of this. It's so bizarre. Rather than the most obvious, no, how about Russia's really doing this and you're suckered? You are brainwashed. He's saying it, they need to be more courageous. They need to turn around and face the truth. And he said that here too. They need clarity. They need to embrace the truth. Um, they are slow to do it. Um, <clears throat> courage. So Jesus is bringing forward, I am facing fears so I can move forward. <clears throat> The key words here are tenacity, guts, power, adventure. So he's saying they need to do inner work. They need to realize they've not been listening to me. They are following a past pattern. And I feel like he's saying this, it's gnawing at a lot of them that are there, their consciousness. And for many of them, it will awaken them to realize that this is not right. And some of them are going to go deeper into doing the most horrible things. But he's saying that if they follow him, they have to be courageous. And they are not. They're still like molasses. He gives me like a slow motion. Like it's, it's still very much stuck in that past be because they have not been willing to do the work to think for themselves and to align themselves truly with Christ. Um, this is just incredible faith. But he's giving me that there is hope for some of them. But they would have to become courageous. And he has said that, that if you follow me, it's not for the weak. It's you are, they have to realize that they are killing Christ every time they go into and invade these villages and, and, and kill people. They need to see that they are killing Jesus over and over again, because Christ is in each and every one. I hope they think about that as they point their guns. Portal, an opening. I am aware that there are multiple possibilities. Transition, new energy, new opening. Forgiveness. They must seek forgiveness. Again, I feel like Christ is saying later, once you realize and you wake up, you can seek forgiveness. But you have to learn to be courageous. And seeking forgiveness is not something that is also done by somebody that isn't brave. You have to be brave. You still have time, is what Christ is saying here, to seek forgiveness from these people and from him. There's going to be some kind of a transitional energy here coming in a little further in the future. Requires patience. Tools. 
Okay. Patience. I am trusting how things are happening in my life. Perseverance, holding space, expansion, worthiness, trust, worthiness, and trust. They have to, they, they are going to have to do the work if they want to follow Christ. And I think some of them will. And I think some of them will regret this very much. I think he'll be able to waken some of them, but it's going to be after the fact. Um, patience and tools. Let's go to tools. I am creative in how I use what is available to me. Resources, dexterity, <clears throat> inventiveness. So when you develop, for one thing, I, I feel like this is about back to developing a relationship. You have to be patient and you, it's, it doesn't take anything fancy. It takes your own patience and with yourself to create this true dialogue back and forth, this alignment with Christ. And these people will need to be patient with themselves Because I think some of them are going to have some real heavy regret. On your knees, Christ says. Co-creation. Be humble. You are interconnected. You are killing your brother. You are killing me every time. Be humble. I'll give you what on your knees says. I am humbled and transformed by my challenges. Challenges, surrender, remember, surrender to Christ's <clears throat> tests, expansion. They will be tested as all believers in Christ that follow are. But they have to learn that they are connected. And if they want to be co-creationists, you know, if they want to be connected to God, they have to be humble. They have to be humble. They have to be gentle. And be willing to be transformed by gentleness and not seeing gentleness, humility as weakness. But it is what is required of them if they want to get their soul out of true trouble. So co-creation. Let's just give that. And I'll ask God if there's anything else he wants to round this out with Jesus, because this is Jesus Christ. Uh, co let's see. No, that's not it. Co-creation. I am growing from all the partnerships in my life, collaboration, creativity, transformation, benevolent friction. This is your involvement with other people in a benevolent way. Again, realizing that we are all connected and linked and you treat others as you would want to be treated. Golden rule, again, it's not hard. Christ is saying it's not hard. Um, all right, Christ, Jesus, thank you. I am truly, I am truly humbled by your message. <clears throat> and it lines up with what I know to be true of you. So I am humbled and honored to share that. Now I wish to ask you through these cards. I'm surprised I'm getting so much. I, I wasn't initially going to use these, but JC gave me the nudge and it's like, okay. And I'm glad I did. That worked very well for that reading. All right. Very quickly. I want to look again at what do you want to say to the Russian Orthodox church, JC, our Lord? What do you want to say to the Russian Orthodox church? who are supporting Vladimir Putin and blessing uh, soldiers to go in with the orders to kill civilians that are unarmed, um, to rape children. What do you want to convey to them? What is your message to the Russian Orthodox Church? 
that is in alignment with Putin, that is in agreement with him? What is your message? I'm asking Jesus Christ, our Lord. Talking about discomfort. Okay. I am broadening my awareness through my challenges. Keywords, growth, new experiences, stretching, emotional ache, comfort zone. Okay, I know exactly what he means. They are not challenging themselves to defy a leader that is defying Christ. Ooh, boy. He wants them to stop taking the easy route. He wants them to get out of their comfort zone Hmm. that Putin has given them by them being agreeable to anything he basically wants or says it does. They've bought off that church. And I'm getting from Christ, I'm getting images of these uh, leaders in the church, these priests and more to the point that whole hierarchy as being very oh corrupt i have to just say it he's showing me that they live very well the upper echelon in the church of course yeah. like the cardinals i don't know what they do how they have it but i know i know the catholicism american catholicism and European Catholicism, but um, <clears throat> I'm not as aware of the, the Russian church setup. I know it's a little different, but he's not happy. He's thinking, he's saying right off the get-go, too many of them are in the pockets of, and been, have been bought. They're taking the most comfortable route. They are not wanting to, to risk or stretch their own necks out literally. Um, <clears throat> okay. Okay. What's crossing the challenge is misfit. And I will convey that challenge. I am embracing my unique qualities. Oh, he's saying they don't embrace misfits, people that are different. Keywords are innovation, change, breaking molds, avant-garde bravery oh he's really saying they are not brave that they are are too comfortable that they live a very cushy life and they will not challenge themselves and be a pioneer and break the mold and do what they know is really right they're too comfortable he's saying Okay. He's saying they would have to totally do different than what they're doing if they want to follow him. They would have to get out of their comfort zones. He's upset. Um, I, I really feel that. That's kind of weird. Um, not weird, but it's weird to feel, trust me, the way I'm feeling it. He has unconditional love. And it's supposed to be about unconditional love. Also saying they have, I think, time yet that they could change. There's still opportunity to embrace his unconditional love. But they still want to stay in their place of comfort. Because they don't, they are not representing unconditional love. And he brings up guidance. His guidance.
if they were following him, they would not be comfortable. Because one thing that Christ has said over and over again is that his way is not the easy way. What does that tell you here? All of you that know your Bible. Hmm? Another one, trust. That's in the past. They don't trust him. Christ is saying they don't trust him. They prefer the comfort to be spoon fed. Okay. Simplicity. Again, back to simplicity. I am seeing the purest essence of everything clearly. Integrity, clarity, honesty, discernment. He is calling them to discernment and off of their couches. To be true leaders. He's saying they're not serving me right now. They're not even, if that's not happening. They're too comfy. But there will be, I think, also clarity coming to them. They're in a cocoon, shows that. So they're, he's saying they're too insulated and looked after. In the environment is rest. I am recharging without guilt, stillness, introspection, inertia. Peace. I think it's the inertia. They have no motive, no inner, no no drive. They're they're lazy. He's calling them lazy. Oh my God! Literally, you are really letting them have it. He did say he's coming back as the lion. just want to touch on that one <laughs> secrecy shadows and privacy their own little world their own little comfort zone he's saying they have their own little world of comfort that other people don't have that live much more also simple lives these men live very very well and they are not he, they he's calling them lazy in more ways than I can count with these cards. It's so clear to me. Okay. And he's saying that they're not brave. Right. He wants them to get up and do something to stand up against it. Hopes and fears kind of card area vertical. Okay. What you giving me with that? I want, again, I want to thank <clears throat> Jesus for sharing and guiding me. I am just the messenger of these cards. And I just try to make sense of them through intuition and trying to be aligned with the most high. Okay, so the vertical. I am connected to guidance from above. They, oh, wow. This is what he wishes that they were connected and hopes that they will be one day. Energy, spiritual awareness, higher self, authenticity. Yeah, that's what he wants for them for sure. But he says they're not connected right now. They're like in their lounge. They're sitting on their butts. He wants to see some passion. He wants to see some courage in them as well. Heart. He's exhorting them. I am expansive in my capacity to love. Keywords, love, depth of feeling, emotions, connection, personal strength, vulnerability. He wants to see them be brave and have put something, put some skin in the game. That's really the truth. 
It's like, if you follow me, you put skin in the game or you don't follow me. And you're lazy. He's exhorting them to get up and do what they know is what they were supposed to do. And they're not doing it according to him. The trust with him has been passed. T- they've become lazy and corrupt. He's saying you're supposed to be of service to the people, not to a corrupt leader. Not a pillar. He's demanding that they change. So let's see what he says about service and caterpillar. We know that the caterpillar process is never a pretty one, but you emerge eventually out of the cocoon, out of your own little world, into something much greater and free and beyond anything like that as a butterfly. So we got to take all these things that were these, I'm getting so much from this. Okay. Um, I am the heart. The heart. Okay, the heart. Oh, I have to go to TH. The heart. I am expansive. Yes, my capacity to love. Love, depth of feeling, emotions, connection, personal strength, vulnerability. They would have to come out of being very sheltered in the comfort that they have by just going along with Putin. They would have to challenge him. And they would have to be willing to lose their lives, potentially to put some skin in the game and be of actual service. Um, He's really condemning the laziness that he sees there. Uh, He is exhorting them to awaken, to have passion and care and to stand up and to get out of your comfort zone and do what you know is right. Service and caterpillars next. I am a part of something greater than myself. Humility. He's calling them to humility and to the, use their gifts and, the, and to help the collective. They could, he's saying you could be helping so many people right now and you're not doing it. You're not standing up to this man. You're not saying this is wrong. You're not following me. You're not listening to me. You live in his lap. He's exhorting them to be, to be men and, and to uh, be brave and, and come away from the teat of Putin and to align with God, to truly serve God. At a pillar. I am beautiful in my state of learning and transition potential. He's saying that they still have potential to serve and change, and he's calling them to change. Um, that they're being immature. Again, this laziness, you're being like, I got the teat thing that came to me. It's like they're being like babies. They need to be men. They need to stand up and they need to be willing to risk their lives. This is what I've called them to do. If you say you're serving me, You are a man, you are willing to lose your life for what is right. Or as a woman, or however way you identify, it doesn't matter. If you you are an adult or you are a mature spirit, it is calling one to spiritual maturity and service. There is much sorrow. You need to be helping the people and shedding, helping them to get through this time of sorrow and getting through their, their, instead of sitting on your butts, he is angry. I really get the lion. And the cards I've been getting as I read off camera for him, um, Christ Jesus, show me, keep showing me lions. I'm coming back as the lion. I'm coming back as the lion. So he's angry. He's not nice. He's not all sweetness and light. And I probably could not say the words that I'm actually getting. Not that he's, he's calling them asses, lazy asses. He's not using, you know, he's, but he is using shocking language in that respect of 
just like he did, I get the whole essence of turning over the tables, you know, um, of the, the money lenders and um, at the temples. He's that kind of mad, but more. And again, what they need to realize is they're killing him over and over again. They are not in alignment with him. They're not listening to him. And he is begging them to come forward because he's saying that you're not listening to me. There's time yet, he's saying, for them. Okay. But they need to be willing to go through uncomfortable emotions, to be sad, to be scared, to be vulnerable. And to have some skin in the game. That is what his exhortation is to the Russian Orthodox Church and its members. Shedding. Releasing those old parts. This laziness. Level up, he's saying. Literally. Shedding is about leveling up. Simplifying. It's simple. He keeps saying it's simple. You just do what is right. It is terrifying. Yes, you will be scared. You have to be brave. You may lose your life, but I will give you eternal life. I will give you something so much more beyond that. So don't be afraid. And the people of Ukraine are Christ-like. They are innocent. And they are being dragged out of their homes and shot and worse. So that is my message that I am getting from Jesus Christ. And it's his message to the Russian Orthodox Church. Please, if you enjoy these readings, give it a thumbs up and share it, especially share it right now at this time. It is very important, people. We are at an important juncture in time. And it's very important that you really turn to spirit, that you have a spiritually healthy alignment, no matter what you believe, whether if, whether it's Jesus or, or Buddha or whoever. All right. See you in the next live or video. Thank you.